we've been talking all about words with L-E endings. Words like able, babble, title, little, bugle, and struggle. I've arranged these words on the screen in a special way. Do you notice a pattern? All of the words in green, the words on the left side, have long vowels. Able, title, bugle. And all the words on blue on the left side have short vowels. Babble, little, struggle. Now there's another pattern. I wonder if you can notice this one. All the words that have short vowels have only one consonant. Able has one consonant before the L-E. Title has one consonant before the L-E. And bugle also has one consonant before the L-E. But for babble, little, and struggle, what do you notice about those consonants? That's right, they're doubled. Today we're going to learn how this rule can help us spell words with L-E endings when we're trying to write them. Before we start, get a pencil and a piece of paper or something to write on so you can practice with us. First, let's review open and closed syllables. In an open syllable, the syllable ends with a vowel and the vowel says it's long sound. Like in the word hi, we, so, and go. Those vowels say they're long sound because there's no consonant to close in the vowel and make it say it's short sound. But in a closed syllable, the syllable ends with a consonant. The consonant closes in that vowel so the vowel says it's short sound. Like in the word him, web, sob, and gog. The consonants close in those vowels so they say they're short sound. To help us practice using this rule, let's play a game called... Yesterday we played Is the Vowel Sound Long or Short? to help us understand that when we're reading these words, you look to the consonants before the L-E ending. If you see that there are two consonants, that would mean that the first syllable is closed, the vowel's closed in by a consonant, and it, the vowel makes its short sound. But if there's only one consonant before the L-E in words with L-E endings, that would make the first syllable open. The vowel would say it's long sound. If you want to watch that video again, I'll link it below. We also looked at a bunch of words with L-E endings and noticed that all the words with long vowels have only one consonant before the L-E. And all the words with short vowels have two consonants before the L-E. Sometimes two different consonants, like in jungle, there's an N and a G. And sometimes two of the same, or what we call doubled consonants, like in wiggle, juggle, babble, bottle. Today, we're going to focus on whether or not we have to double that consonant. Let's look at a few words and decide whether the consonant before the L-E needs to be doubled to make the word. Let's try this word, middle. Does that consonant D need to be doubled to make the word say middle? Well, I know that my D, L, E makes that dull syllable, so I can divide the word before that syllable. Now I have M, I. I see there's an I at the end, which means it's an open syllable. This would say my dull. I don't want it to say middle, I want it to say middle. So I do need to double that consonant. Let's try with the word cradle. 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 Do we need to double the D before the L-E? Well, I know that the D-L-E makes that second syllable, dull. The first syllable is cray. It ends in a vowel, which means it's open, so it makes its long sound. This word is cradle. We don't need to double the D. Now let's try simple. Sim-ple. Simple. 
I have my second syllable, P-L-E, I'll divide before that, and my first syllable says sim. It ends in a consonant already, so the vowel says its short sound, sim, not sime. It already says its short sound because this syllable already ends in a consonant, so I don't need to double the P. Try this one with me. Write it on your paper. Ba bull bubble. Where would you divide this word? The B L E makes its own syllable. We divide it before that B. Now we have B U. Is this an open syllable or closed? It's open because it ends in a vowel. This would say booble. That's not the word we want to write. That means we do have to double the B. Now it says bub, bull, bubble. Now write drizzle. Drizzle. Do we need to double the Z before the LE? The Z-L-E makes its own syllable. Now let's check the first syllable, D-R-I. It ends in a vowel, so it's open. This would say drizzle, but we want it to say drizzle. So we need to add a consonant and double that Z, drizzle. Now write humble. Humble. Our second syllable is bull, so we divide before the B. The first syllable says H-U-M. That U does say its short sound, uh, in humble, but we already have a consonant to make that vowel short, so we don't need to double the B, humble. Here are some more words with L-E endings. Try these on your own and see, does that consonant before the L-E need to be doubled? When you're finished, write all these words in the comments. Happy writing!